In this series, I'm gonna show you how to make really simple DIY Christmas gift or decoration ideas. And you're joining me halfway through this one. I've just got started. I'm gonna show you how to transform your household typical cheap wooden peg. You cannot tell me you haven't got some of these on the line, out in the back cupboard somewhere in the laundry room, on the floor, underneath the washing line, have a rummage around. No doubt you're gonna find a handful of pegs. We're gonna glue them all together and make a kind of snowflake feeling Christmas decoration that could be hung in a window, hung in front of a wall, in front of a light. I think I bought two of these for less than a pound. So there is no excuse. No tools required. You don't need anything else other than a load of old pegs and some glue. Hi, I'm Dom and welcome to my grotto. Just sit down nicely, hey? Eh? Just lay down. Normal peg. I'm taking the spring out. Then we've got two pieces, and then we're going to just put them face down. Dab of glue, and then stick them face back to back. And they've got this handy cutout, which is good to line them up with. Another peg as a clamp to hold them together till the glue goes off. So I've got each peg spring removed and the face is stuck back to back. I'm now gonna stick each peg to another one. That is going to involve a dab of glue on just on this angled surface and then peg to peg that's very difficult without hang on oh nice These tiny little mini pegs. I'm gonna make one of these afterwards. It will make a little sort of Christmas tree decoration uh, sized one. Imagine that tiny little thing. I'm not sure my fat fingers are gonna be. <laughs> That's probably gonna be more difficult to make than a normal sized one because it's so small, but we'll find out. But this exact, exact same process, no matter what size or color the peg, this exact same process of just taking the spring out, flipping the sides over, gluing the back to back in batches, then gluing each one of those things together, making four in sections, and then at the end, we'll glue all of those sections together to make a complete circle. Now I've got my groups of two all stuck together, the glue is dry, we're looking good. I can remove all of those clamps, and then it's just a case of sticking each group of two together to make a four. Again, on that same daggled surface on the inside, you can see where this is going, look. Maybe one more would be a quarter. Almost, nearly. So we're just carrying on sticking that diagonal inside face on, on just on that surface there, sticking those all together, and we're gonna make a ring.
26 pegs, are all glued back to back, glued all in a big circle. They met up, um, I won't say beautifully, <laughs> but they've met up in a kind of circle shape. The glue is still a little bit soft, but here we go. That's perfect. For less than a pound's worth of pegs, or whichever pegs you can find in the garden. Glue them end to end, glue them back to back, round in a circle, stick them all together, and you've got a Christmas decoration. All that needs is a little piece of string. And you can hang that on the tree, you can hang it on the window, in front of a window. And the beauty of using pegs is they're made of wood. So they will accept wood stains, washes, uh, chalk paints, anything like that. You can paint that now any colour you like. Uh, I'm going to wash it white because it's a snowflake after all. This is a white wash, so it's quite subtle, but you could use paints or anything. Glitter. We've made a snowflake. It's good, isn't it? Isn't it? Look. Look. Okay, right. Whitewash is dry. It looks so much better. I'm really, really pleased. That's going to look great hanging up on a wall somewhere or on a tree. 